Hi everyone, welcome to Fan Mail Friday, my favorite time of the week, and it is a fun fan mail. It's going to be short and sweet because, I don't know about you, but my mail has been delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. Uh, so you, you'll see what I mean in a second. We keep missing some deadlines with some very important mail from our friend Richard. Uh, but we'll start things off with this little card from Kathy, um, cute little Valentine, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Kathy, for sending that. Um, adorable. And then we have a beautiful card from, uh, from Brenda and all kinds of fun things used there uh, with uh, creating all kinds of pieces. And she even sent me a whole list of all the stuff that she had used. Isn't that amazing? So um, thank you for that. She, uh, she did do the card before our finishing school live of making Valentine's, um, which is fun. That means she was ahead of the season which, you know, I need to get busy if I'm going to be doing Valentine's. Uh, ready or not, we have a card from our friend Princess. Uh, uh, Lenita, how you doing? I hope you're doing great. Thank you for that happy anniversary and congratulations for this. Um, she said the best thing about 2020 was being becoming my friend. Oh, I love that. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, I have a big, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about, that's the mail, all right? And I think this was postmarked, let's see. Yeah, we're in December. Uh, all right, here we are on January the 22nd. Uh, beautiful, season's greetings. Now, this is fun. Look at that. This is from Allison. And isn't that adorable? So our Christmas characters on the front and all kinds of fun things. And then, yes, she was spinning our, our beautiful little ballerina right there. And so, Miss Allison, thank you for this. And um, you have mastered all of these things. Thank you. It's her first Fan Mail Friday submission. So isn't that fun? And it's all interactive. And we haven't seen a card like that before. I love the pop-out ballerina, so thank you. Now, look at this. Okay, this is my Christmas card from Tom. And this was, if you'll remember, he showed us the Helleboris, the Christmas, Christmas Lynch and Rose, um, in a Facebook photo. And I loved it so much because it was side by side. And I'm guessing it was from his garden. And um, Tom, just look. Look, 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 look. Isn't that something? Good thing you've got your forever stamps going. Um, but, it, and it made it, so there we go. Uh, another Christmas card from our friend Chris, and isn't that pretty? It's, this is the last snowman, she says. Um, she is asking for all kinds of things because uh, snowman card toppers and stickers and antique toys for Christmas cards and antique sleighs and dolls and teddy bears and smaller birds and butterflies. I gotcha. All right, Miss Chris, I am on that. Uh, lots of requests today in the mail. So this is from our friend Sharon, and beautiful happy anniversary card. And look, it pops out on the inside, and yes, there was a letter in the back. And um, congratulations on number 11 and number 20. Uh, that's fun. And uh, she wanted to write about having so much fun at Create. So. I'm so glad that you are still enjoying that, uh, everything that you learned and everything that you did. And yes, I know um, for those of you that are um, going, Anna, when are you launching the registration for your scrapbook event? That is coming soon. We had a, um, a little technical glitch, and so I had hoped to do that this week, but um, it's going to be the first week of February um, that we launch that for you, um, just because we're in the middle of doing doing some uh, com computer conversions that take a lot of time. So anyway, I won't go much further on that wonderful little subject. Okay, but it's coming. Scrapbooking events coming. Anna Griffin Create, Crop at Home, May 1st and 2nd. Okay? All right. Now, Miss Loretta, she, speaking of Create, she made this at Create. Isn't this beautiful? With the Chinoiserie collection. And you know what's so pretty is I love that you signed it over here in the corner because that's exactly where I would have done that too. And then there's an anniversary card that's a gorgeous gatefold. Have a happy anniversary. Love that. And um, thank you for uh, your note, and I'm glad that you are well. And there are lots of things that she um, also wants. She's made five albums 
Uh, wow. Okay, you and, and to give to her daughters and daughters-in-laws. That's amazing. So, so nice to hear from you, and thank you very much. Uh, speaking of uh, anniversaries, we had a really beautiful card come in the mail. Look at this. I saw a little sneak peek of this on um, Sunday Share on Facebook. This is from our friend Richard, who I hope you saw on HSN, uh, celebrating Anna Griffin and HSN. This was intended for that beautiful um, 11th anniversary. And just look, okay. I think the tool bow is just dreamy, 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 dreamy. And you know what's fun about this, Richard, is that it's mounted inside the box that he made and just like the Victorian Valentines. And I think that's so beautiful. But then the Dresden is so gorgeous around all of the pieces and parts. And it says, um, well, it's not completely mounted, but there you go. Congratulations, Miss Anna on a and HSN on your 11-year partnership to provide us with exceptional products that allow us to create beautiful in the making projects and grow our creative visions with deepest appreciation, Richard. Richard, I wonder, oh, oh I have to show you the back. Um, I wonder how long that took you to make. My goodness, this is so beautiful. I love that you've made the flowers to go with the paper and the tool. And um, we're going to take some pictures of this so that you can see this up close. Uh, thank you so much for all your well wishes. And we were really excited to have um, you with us earlier this week on Tuesday on our big 11th anniversary on HSN. So uh, many people are asking when are we coming back, and that is March 2nd. And, um, and every Tuesday, pretty much in March, we'll be on television for um, crafting and lots of exciting things coming up. Uh, so, so tune in on Monday for our first preview, and I'll say bye for now.